Spider-Man. Jesus Christ. Well, now I feel bad, dude. Sorry, church boy over here. Hey guys, um, it's JC Krupa, president of Gospel of Christ Ministries. What's up, guys? It is Caleb Duarte here, team member of Gospel of Christ Ministries. Um, and today, we kind of just want to talk to you guys about something more lighthearted and fun that we could literally talk for hours about, and that's superheroes. So, so serious. Um, I said my favorite superhero is Spider-Man, um, and I just absolutely adore Spider-Man. Like, ever since I was a little kid, like, I've, I grew up, you know, reading Spider-Man's comics. I grew up, you know, watching the cartoons, you know, watching the movies and stuff, and he was just, like, ingrained in my mind, like, as this figure that, like, I wanted to be, because, like, I was bullied as a kid, and so, like looking at Spider-Man and like seeing, you know, um, who he was and like he went through the same stuff I did and he had all this power that like he could have used against people like rightfully so in many people's eyes and like he didn't, it just like astounded me and I, I just wanted to be just like Spider-Man and I still identify with Spider-Man today and he just, he means a lot to me and what I really want to be like as a person. So that's probably a much deeper answer than mm -hmm. I probably should give. But what about you, Caleb? You said Jesus Christ. I, he's the That's kind of cheating. He's the ultimate yeah, superhero. He saved the I world. Win. I but win. You win in that respect. I win. He literally saved the world. But like, when it comes to like Marvel or DC, like who, who's uh, your... Dude, Passion of Christ. The best superhero movie of all time. What are you talking about? On a serious I'm the note. theology student. I should be saying these things. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'm mean, the church. It's okay. I would be good. Good. On a serious note, I mean, Jesus is a serious note. Favorite superhero? superhero. It's a little tough because I love all the Marvels, but I got to go with Ant-Man. He is so funny. He His story is pretty good. Like, I, you know, I really like, You know, movies. spiders eat ants, right? Shut up. I'm talking <laughs> to you. Cut your hair. Um, ant -Man. It always goes back and to the hair. Ant-Man. I'm talking, JC. Okay. Gosh. It's a very serious topic. <laughs> Ant Man. Um, you interrupted me. I interrupted my train of thoughts. <laughs> Ant Man. Why do I think Ant Man? I can't remember anymore. Oh, I remember. Well, the movie's so funny. And I honestly kind of think, like, think about it. You literally can go to an ant and you're still as strong as you are. Like, I mean, like, I know for me that wouldn't be that much, but imagine, like, if you could go to, like, an ant and, like, run around and, like, do all this little stuff. Like, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and then, but with that, I mean, the movie was not as good as, like, Captain America. Because it's a little lighthearted. Captain America's a boss. Oh. Just putting that out there. Oh. Whose side were you on in the Civil War? In Civil War. Okay, so, backstory on the superhero side. Okay. I loved, I love World War II. Like, my grandfather showed me that. He was my hero, so I automatically... You, you love World War II. Yeah, I did. I, I was there, actually. You, if, if you watch the videos. Yeah, you know. I love World War II. He loved the war that killed millions I, of people. I... <laughs> Now I get what you did there. Now I get what <laughs> you took did you a there. second to process that. I processed it. Gosh. Man, the, the high cost and everything. That Whoa! That. Whoa! You love gonna, World War II. We're going to segue right back to superheroes. We really we need a Captain America in that war, though. <laughs> I appreciate, and it's fascinating, to look there at World go. War II. Better word. Sorry, I'm not an education major. <laughs> anyway, and so I automatically kind of leaned more towards Captain America. However... I was on Iron Man's side. Like, really? Like, they were really destructive. Like, what they were doing, like, yeah, True. were they doing good? Yeah, but look at all the, like, buildings they caused. Like, like that's the equivalent of, like, blowing up, like, well, bad, bad choice of words to talk about blowing up New York. Um, that would have been a destruction of, like, different things like that. Like, big cities. And if you think about it, like, as, as citizens of America, would we really have liked those people? Yeah, they saved us from, like, getting eaten by aliens, but still, like... Yeah, I mean, I, I get whole, I get Captain America's whole side of the story where it's I do, like, I do. you know, um, he's been a part, he'd been alienated by the government before, you know, like, um, and yeah. just the things that they tried to do to him and, and you know, with Hydra um, and that whole thing going down, it's just like he trusted in this institute that like was America for a really long time and, you know, it ended up stabbing him in the back. So he's kind of got some experience when it comes to, you know, giving government, you know, all that power. And, you know, he even brought up the the fact like, you know, what if we want to go save somebody and we should, but, you know, the government says that we can't. And he's like, I, I don't want to give up, you know, that personal freedom and that personal liberty. So obviously, I, I love Captain America. I have so much Captain America gear. I mean, we love all. I, yeah. I mean, in reality, we can't. There's a few that I'm not a fan of, but. Thor. Uh, okay, top five. So this is who I got in my so top five. Boring. Spidey. He's your all time. Yeah. Superman. Thor. Black Panther. Okay, yeah, but that's kind of like, whatever. Captain America. 
Okay, top wrong. five, top five, wrong. top five. Wrong. Top, what wrong, you, top wrong, five, wrong. Top five, top it's, five, top it's, five. It's a ref, it's a music reference. Number one. <laughs> yeah, I know my music. I know my music. Number one, Ant Man. Number two, I gotta give it to Black Panther. I love Black Panther. He's I awesome. can't wait till this movie comes oh out. Number three. Iron Man, such a boss, yeah. such a beast. Number four, I mean, I do like Spider. I like the new Spider Man. Okay. I mean, I've always liked Spider Man. I mean, yeah. when we were kids, we had like the Peter Parker of like, um, what is it, Tobey Maguire? Yeah. Do you like Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield, Garfield or uh, Tom Holland? So, like, for those of you guys who don't know and can't nerd out thing. with us, Tobey Maguire is like the older Spider Man. You know, the trilogy that they had way back in our heyday. Um, and then Andrew Garfield was, you know, the Amazing Spider-Man One, Amazing Spider-Man Two, and now Tom Holland is, you know, part of this Marvel universe now because Sony cut a deal with Marvel, and now he's part of that cinematic mm-hmm. universe. So yep. he's like the young kid version that you see in Civil War. So out of those three, which one? Well, before it's kind of crazy though. In Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Aunt May was like eighty, and now she's like twenty-six. And They're trying to switch up a lot Stark. of stuff. So anyway, just kind of throw that in there. It's a little crazy. I'm like, I'm fine with it. But anyway, I probably have to give to Tom Holland. Is that his name? Yeah, he's Tom, the newest one, the Marvel yeah. Spider-Man. Like he's literally I characterization think he's wise. I think oh he, he does the comics so well. Yeah. Like I remember when he first came up in Civil War, it was yeah. like like when he was fighting. I almost cried. He was so I love funny. Like he comes out there on Iron Man's side, Cap. Yeah. How you doing? I love you. Love you all. He's funny. Like that's he's what really I love funny. about Spider-Man. Like. He, he meets, like, his depression and his problems and his worry with, like, you know, quips and, and jokes and stuff. And he's lighthearted. Like, in the other Spider-Man movies, he's just walking around like... Yeah, Tom Maguire was very... I made, uh, Spider-Man 3 was pretty good, though. With the whole black Spider-Man. That was pretty good. That's actually my least favorite Spider-Man okay, movie. And, so and I love Venom fifth. as a villain, but... Okay. Your fifth. <laughs> <laughs> my fifth. Definitely not Thor... I mean, the fifth is kind of up there. Like, I, mean, I think I like Thor. Cause Black Widow's there. a boss, but she doesn't have a movie. Uh, Hawkeye shoots things, I guess. I mean, what does he really do? Notice how you're not choosing any uh, DC characters. Because DC's terrible. How is DC char- terrible? Uh, how did uh, how did that new movie go for you guys? What? what which yeah, one? That's what I thought. Yeah, what exactly. Which about? one? You know. Yeah. Chill. Okay, our movies have not been the strongest. I absolutely love oh, our Man movies. What you work for DC now? I thought you're Marvel guy. You're literally yeah. Spider Man. No, like. I, Spider-Man's my all-time, but I do appreciate five, five, DC. Five. <laughs> it's top five, top five. Okay, anyway. My like, top five, top five. I think that the characters in Marvel are more relatable, but I think the characters in DC are more powerful. Um, because he's Superman. Of course yeah. he is. But they're like, the they're fun basically gods in, in DC. Well, like, well okay. Who would win? Thor or Superman? <laughs> yeah, that's right. He literally just said God. Thor is a god. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying. I'm not saying there's not good characters in Marvel. I'm just saying. Look, look at look at the lineup. Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Who's like Aquaman? The, he's like the he's like the Thor of the ocean. Literally, like, after people Superman, underestimate Batman, him. So, nobody knows who the characters. Oh my are. gosh, I'm not a Batman fan at all. Nobody knows. Well, yeah, of course you're a Superman fan. Yeah, I mean, I guess. In in Marvel, it literally goes ten deep of like it's characters that people will know. What are you, I mean, Superman. Is literally the most recognizable. That's not true in the world. I know, mind it is true. Yeah. Okay, Superman and Batman are probably the two most recognizable. Two. And then because of the comics, not the movies. Because of the comics, the Dark Knight. I'm not a Batman fan, but the Dark Knight trilogy was absolutely amazing. Because of the Joker, Heath Ledger's performance, rest in peace. Amazing. But that's you know that's a, that's a different topic. Before we close it out, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's awesome. Do you? But are you excited to combine? Like it still doesn't hit me because there's Infinity War. I believe what is it next year? Yeah, like, that's like it's like part. I don't know yeah. if they're still gonna like part. No, one yeah, part they two. are because Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy Volume Two comes out in May ish, something like that, or is it October? Because Spider Man comes this out summer, May, sometime. Sometimes Spider Man and the new Tom Holland Spider Man and Guardians of the Galaxy come out this year. Yeah. Next year, I believe is Infinity War Part One, and that's when every Marvel because the Marvel Universe is all one. So. I'm excited for it, obviously, but a little bit concerned that it's going to be kind of chunky because they're going to try. And like, obviously, Iron Man and Captain America because they're buddy heads mm-hmm. are going to be the two main people. But I mean, they're going to try to fit like 
Black Panther in there. Like he's I mean, got his movie coming up. I mean, just look at like the Civil War lineup. I mean, like all those superheroes who are in that movie. I think. Yeah, but you Marvel, had a comic to base it off of. Well, then again, you have a comic to base. It off. I mean, there's a whole story arc. Like the actual Civil War story arc is like so Huge. many comics Huge. and so much stuff happening. Read them if you get a chance. It, they're, they're or even amazing. like reading the comic Wikipedia. Spider Man actually reveals his identity <laughs> in the. Whoa! You can't. You can't. They're not going to read the comics. Spoilers. They're a bunch Spoilers. of YouTube people that just watch Prove YouTube. Prove them wrong. Okay. Prove them wrong. It's uh, it's an awesome read if you get a chance. Awesome. But read. You literally just dissed them. I don't think we're going to go read it now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Hopefully all our loyal subscribe. subscribers and Hopefully fans. Subscribe. And, uh, but gosh. yeah, we could talk about this for hours. But I think we got to cut yeah, off. Jump, it, jump in the comments it. and let us know like who's your favorite superhero. And it can't be um, Jesus. I'm sorry. It, it can if you if you want to say Jesus. <laughs> Go ahead and say Jesus. Yeah. He's my favorite superhero, aside from what I said at the beginning of this video. And I apologize to Jesus that I didn't say him. And uh, I think... You were gay. Because remember, he saved the world, unlike Superman, because he's... Whatever. Sorry, look at the box office. I'm JC Krupa. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, what's your name again? My name... Oh... <laughs> That's funny. My name's Kale Duarte, um, and we are so glad to have you watch this video. Again, comment, subscribe, like the video, and yeah, I stay superhero y and love Jesus. Superhero y? <sighs> I just yeah. can't win. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes a Spider Man.